yeah. you know, um, looking back on um, season one and two, especially season two, we haven't had a chance to really talk about it. Last time you and I chatted, it was just before or just after Faith had aired. And that was like such a big moment for you as an actress and also for your character. Um, but I'm wondering, you know, what have you got any favourite scenes from season two, perhaps maybe with Sam or alone or with someone else like it, it, apart from faith because we, we've talked about that a lot is there anything else that you think about in season two that you just thought yeah that was amazing i'm really proud of it well i think the finale was another script that was just so strong and and so lovely and as an actor to be able to do both of those you know claire with jamie sort of right before culloden and then jumping forward doing the 1960s with her, you know with their daughter i mean it was just we were shooting them at the same time and sometimes flipping between the two and just as an actor you know it was just a really great challenge and and it's nice to be able to do something so different and to try and find those differences um you know for us it's it's funny to think back on that because it's you know season two is just gone in our heads yeah. um we're so deep in season three right now but um things that come to mind are, are generally just days where it was amazing experiences as a person to, to be um you know some of that lead up to the battle like leading up to preston pans and stuff um just because of the epic scale of our show and there was a day in particular where sam and i were like leading this army of of highlanders behind us and you know, you're looking at it at the vista and just at all of the extras who are so invested because it's also telling a really important part of their history of their country. And, you know, days like that are very personally special, but um, I think acting wise, you know, the, the goodbye scene at the, at the stones was really special. I think just because it also, it, it, it it felt very, it just felt like such an emotional scene and it, it was such a heartbreaking moment for these two characters and, you know, everything sort of came together on that morning just with, in terms of the light and the weather and it was just days where it just feels special and, and um, yeah, I, I guess that's one that really sort of stands out. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Amanda. No, you have... Um to work, we were with Tobias Menzies, but he plays two different characters. So I was just wondering, do you prefer him as Blackjack or as Frank? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we Claire and, and Blackjack have had some great scenes. Um, you know, in season one especially, like we had some great almost theater pieces that went on for like six, seven pages. And, you know, Tobias is such an amazing actor. It's always fun to spar with him. Um, but I have a soft spot for Frank. I don't know. I mean, poor yeah, Frank. So it's I. such a bum deal. But he's, yeah. he's trying. He's a good guy. He, he, he tried to do his best. But, no, we, we have some, like, really great scenes this season um, that I, I – I don't know. I was really looking forward to that stuff, and and um, the writing's been fantastic. So I'm excited for people to see that eventually, whenever whenever that comes mm. out. <laughs> we still we still don't know when it's going to start next year, and this Droughtlander is getting ridiculous. Like people are losing their minds. <laughs> like you know, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, I want to get serious for a second, uh, if I may, and that is just talking about how the show balances this beautiful uh, way in which it tells a story from a woman's perspective. And, but on the other hand, it sometimes is criticized for its rather blunt portrayal of, you know, sexual violence and misogyny. And, and really that's because of, you know, the time period that it's portraying. But I, I just like to hear from you how, how you feel about that side of the show and, and actually having to portray those scenes and how difficult they might be. Well, it's always difficult, um, you know, when, when you take material uh, like Diana's, which is so full of life and action, but then also has these really dark moments and these really sexually violent pieces, you know, how do you stay true to the books and yet 
you know, how do you handle these things sensitively? And I think that that's a conversation that happens a lot on our show, whether it's with the producers, the writers, and when we get down to sets. And, you know, sometimes these conversations will be going ongoing and ongoing and you'll have different opinions, but it, it's, it's tough as an actor because, you know, a lot of the time you have your own personal view on these things. And I was speaking as a woman from this time period, our expectations and our, uh, the things that we will tolerate are obviously incredibly different from what was tolerated or, you know, accepted back in the 1700s. Um, you know, it's, it's a hard one because you never want to be in that place where you're sensationalizing something or you're just using sex or not sex, but rape or, or things like that as plot points. So it's, it's hard. It's hard. I, in any, I don't know. I, it's, it's a tough thing, but we try, I mean, we try really hard that we, we only have those things when they are integral to the plot and, and that they have a character reason for being there. And as actors, when we're filming it, there's always a, a very strong conversation that happens with the directors and with the writers about, well, if we do it this way, then that will send this message or it will look like that. So how do we not do that? Or how do we avoid doing that? So, you know, it, it's a constant negotiation, but yeah, it's, I don't know that there's a perfect way of doing any of that. I mean, unfortunately, yeah, sexual violence is a, is a weapon that was used and is still used today. So you can't ignore these things either. So mm. yeah, you just try and do it the, most sensitively that you can yeah and then a final question from you before i wrap it up well just on a on a lighter <laughs> uh just trying to get one more little tidbit because we we love duncan Lacroix as, uh, as oh, yeah. murta oh, no. so we, we hashtag that all the time yes yeah. everybody loves murta that's our famous yeah. hashtag so yeah. we, we just have to ask are, are we going to get a claire murta <laughs> reunion i see ever coming back are we going to see murta uh -oh. <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> uh, she's fallen over. I, 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 I don't know. Okay, that's good. But I will say, Duncan is one of the most amazing guys, and Murta. I love Murta. I think Murta is amazing. What's not to love, really? What is not to love? Uh, yeah. yeah, him and I have a very funny. Uh, Claire Marta kind of skit that we do off on set. So <laughs> I, I just bore him with questions as Claire. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's good. Anyway. Um, and so the, the final question for you is it's kind of a tricky one because it's really hard to kind of pinpoint why you and Sam work so well on screen together. Like there's Casting is a really unusual science and some shows do it really well. Some shows do it badly. Outlander is one of those shows that does it so well. A lot of that is uh, this chemistry and interaction between you guys as the leads of the show. Um, what is it about working with Sam that you, uh, you think personally that makes this show so much better? Um, I think we have so much fun. I don't know. Like we, we get along incredibly well. <laughs> We're both quite childish. Um, <laughs> we have a ridiculous sense of humor. Um, but I think that's it. I don't know. I mean, I, I have so much respect for him. I, he's one of my closest friends now. You know, we've, we've gone through this crazy experience together and I think we're very similar people in many ways. So yeah, for some reason it, it just works and, you know, we have each other's backs and I think that that's, that's important. I think that we, from day one, we were kind of like, right, if we're going to do this and we're going to go through this, we, we got to look out for each other. And I think we do. So, um, yeah. And I'm, I'm glad that, you know, that friendship translates on screen. So. Yeah, it absolutely yeah. does. Um, Katrina, thanks so much for your time. We know you guys work so hard on this show. The fans love you. You're getting award recognition. Like, it really couldn't be much better. And we wish you all the best and good luck for the Golden Globe nominations in the next few weeks. Oh, thank you. And thank you guys for the support.
Thanks. Bye. Nice chat. Bye.